it doesn't matter where you are or what your situation is, an emergency can develop at any time. Hi, I'm Leon Pattenberg with Survival Common Sense. You know, many of the tools you need for different survival situations are going to depend on the circumstances you're in. Today we're going to take a look at the J. Bullivant Urban Survival Gear Backpack. The backpack is divided into three different compartments. It's called the solar backpack because of these solar panels right here. These go inside and power this battery. This battery in turn can be plugged in to a laptop, a, a phone, or anything that will fit one of these cables. The second compartment has other items in it. It's designed to carry most of your stuff. And the third compartment has room for a laptop right there and anything else that's big that needs to fit in the back of the pack. There are a lot of useful tools in the number two compartment. And here are some of the things you get. You may need a tool to help you keep all this stuff. That's what this helps with. This is a self-defense fogger. Obviously, you spray this in the direction of someone who's trying to take your stuff, and they may leave you alone. This stainless steel water bottle is also a water filter. This is one of those do-it-all type tools. It's your all-hazards radio, but it's also a flashlight. It's got a siren on it. And it can be recharged by this crank. So this is going to be very useful when there's no radio can come in really handy for signaling or for uh, getting information from local emergency responders. So you don't want to forget food. Three of these mini meals at 400 calories each come with the pack. That'll give you 1,200 calories to get you going. A first aid kit is critical, and this one is specialized. It's a trauma kit, and it's designed to help you take care of some of the wounds that could be consistent with a natural disaster. The biggest challenge in an urban situation could be that you have to get out of a burning building or one that has hazardous gases or something like that. At any rate, you would not be able to breathe the air. The hood is designed for one-time use, and the way to use it would be to take it out of this container and then put it completely over your head. The uh, escape hood protects the wearer for about 60 minutes from smoke and other toxic gases. This could be the tool that all the rest of your survival depends upon. But suppose we're in that burning building and we do have the escape hood and we have to put out a fire to get out of a door. That's where you would pull out this fire extinguisher and use it. The back compartment has room right here for a laptop. And then it also has a ballistic shield which fits right in the back here. This is designed to stop a bullet. Every survival kit should be personalized. And as much as I like the solar backpack, here are some things I'm going to add to mine. To start with, I'm going to have a fire making method. In this case, we have a ferrocerium rod, cotton balls, and Vaseline. You could also carry a lighter and some matches. I would put in also my Leatherman Wave. This multi-tool gives me a bunch of tools to help me fix stuff. As it stands right now, if I break a connection or something like that, or have to strip a wire, I don't have any tool for it. I always carry paracord and duct tape. Also, make sure you have a way to navigate. So I'm going to put a compass in mine. I'm going to have topo maps of the area and a road map, and I'm going to have a really loud whistle for signaling. And finally, I'm going to include a big plastic bag. This one's a 55 gallon bag, and I can use it for a shelter, or because it's so bright, I can tear it up and use it for signaling. So this is the Urban Survival Backpack. Do you need one? You need some sort of a kit. Find a good basis for your own personal kit, such as this, and then adapt the kit to your own individual needs. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.